Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a smudge painting from scratch to finish in Photoshop. First thing we are doing is to remove the background and break the picture into parts. To do that, press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the layer model. Select the background layer. Go to adjustment layer and create a new layer on top. Then open the foreground color and choose any color you want. I am going with this gray color. Then press Alt and Delete to fill the layer with the foreground color. Select the model layer. Go to toolbar and select pen tool. Set the pen tool to part. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. Then trace the background part with the pen tool. Left click and hold, then drag to make a trace. Keep following the process. Press Ctrl and Enter to make a selection. Select the Quick Selection tool on the toolbar. Right, click on the image and select Feather. Set the feather radius to 2 pixels, then click OK. Then press Delete to delete the background. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Next is to break the picture into parts. Select the Pen tool on the toolbar, press Ctrl and Plus to zoom in. The first part I am going to cut is the hair, so I will trace the hair part. Press Ctrl Enter to make a selection after tracing. Then press Ctrl and J to make a copy. You can see that the hair is on its own now. I am going to rename the layer to hair. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. The next part is the chain. Also press Ctrl Enter to make a selection, then press Ctrl J to make a copy. If you check it, there is small part of the hair on it. To remove it, press and hold Ctrl key, then click the box on the hair layer to make a selection, then press Delete. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Make the layers visible back. Repeat the same process on the singlet. I am renaming the layer to shirt.
Select the model layer. Press Ctrl and J to make a copy. I am going to rename the layer skin. We are going to delete the other parts from the skin layer. Press and hold Ctrl key, then click the box on the layer to make a selection, then press Delete. Repeat the same process on the rest layers. Then press Ctrl and D key to deselect. Now we have all the parts on separate layers. I am going to drag the cloth layer down. Select the Move tool on the toolbar. Next is to smooth the skin with the Smudge tool. Select the skin layer. Press Ctrl and J key to make a copy. Right-click on the Skin Copy layer, then click Create Clipping Mask. Select the Smudge tool on the toolbar. Go to the Option menu and open the brushes. Open the Smudge Brush, then select Smoothing Smudge Brush. I will drop the link to download the brush on the description below. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. Set the brush strength to 20%. You can increase the brush size by pressing the open bracket key and decrease the size by pressing the close bracket key. Then brush the skin to make it smooth with the smudge tool. Make sure you brush carefully so that you don't deform the picture. Keep following the process.
Press Ctrl and minus key to zoom out. You can see the before and after. Next step is to add skin color. To do that, go to Adjustment Layer and create a new layer on top of the Skin Copy layer. Right? Click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Open the foreground color and change the color. The skin color number I will use is D5936E5936. E. Then click OK. Let us cut out the eyes on a separate layer. Select the pen tool, then zoom in. Select the skin copy layer. Trace the eyes part with the pen tool. Press Ctrl Enter to make a selection and Ctrl J to make a copy. Drag the layer up. Rename the layer to I. Select the layer 2 and clip it back on the skin copy. Select the brush tool on the toolbar. Make sure the opacity is 100% and flow 100%. Then paint over the skin with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Select the Move tool on the toolbar. Next is to work on the lips and whiten the teeth. Create a new layer on top of the color layer. Right, click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Open the foreground color and change the color to red. Then go to Toolbar and select the Brush tool. Zoom in. Then paint the lips with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. We need to blend the edges. To do that, go to Adjustment Layer and add a layer mask. Make sure the foreground color is 100% black. Then paint over the edges to clean it. Reduce the opacity. I want the red color to be only on the down lip. Go to Adjustment Layer and create a new layer. Right, click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Open the foreground color and change the color. Zoom in. Then paint over the upper lip. Change the blending mood to color. Add a layer mask, then brush over the edges to clean it. Let us remove the red color from the upper lip. Select the layer mask on the red lip layer, then brush over the upper lip to clean it. Let us whiten the teeth. Select the layer 4. Go to Adjustment Layer and create a new layer on top. Right-click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. 
Open the foreground color and change it to 100% white. Change the blending mood to color. Zoom in. Then brush the teeth with the brush tool. Select Move Tool on the toolbar. Let us add oil paint on the eyebrows. To do that, select the Skin Copy layer, press Ctrl J to make a copy, right-click on the layer, and select Create Clipping Mask. Go to Filter at the menu bar, then select Stylize and click Oil Paint. Increase the stylization and cleanliness, then click OK. The effect is on all the skin, but we only want it on the eyebrows. To remove it from the skin, go to Adjustment Layer and click Add Layer Mask. Go to Toolbar and select the Brush Tool. Zoom in. Brush the part that you want to remove. Hold Shift key to select the both layers. Right-click and select Merge Layers to merge the two layers. Select the Move tool. Let us work on the hair. Select the hair layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Right-click and select Create Clipping Mask. Go to Filter at the menu bar, select Stylize and click Oil Paint. Increase the stylization and cleanliness. Go to Filter at the menu bar and click Camera Raw Filter. Open the effect and increase the texture and clarity. You can see the oil paint effect on the hair. Create a new layer on top. Right-click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Open the foreground color and change the color to red. Select the brush tool. Then paint over the hair with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Select Move Tool. Let us blend the hair with the skin color. Create a new layer on top. Right-click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Select Layer 2. Change the blending mood to normal. Open the foreground color and pick the skin color. Change the blending mood back to color. Select Layer 7. Select Brush Tool. Change the blending mood to color. Reduce the opacity to 70%. Zoom in. Brush the edge part of the hair with the Brush Tool. Select the Move tool. Select the Chain layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Right. Click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Go to Filter at the menu bar. Select Stylize and click Oil Paint. Reduce the stylization and cleanliness, then click OK. Create a new layer on top. Right-click on the layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Open the foreground color and change it to white. 
Then brush the chain with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Select the move tool. Let us work on the shirt. Select the shirt layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Right click and select Create Clipping Mask. Select the smudge tool. Zoom in. Then brush over the shirt. Create a new layer on top. Right click and select. Create clipping mask. Select the brush tool. Set the foreground color to white. Then paint over the shirt. Change the blending mood to color. Select the move tool. Let us work on the eye. Select the eye layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Right click and select Create Clipping Mask. Zoom in. I will go to where I have the file. The file download link is on the description below. Select the Lasso tool. Left click hold and draw to make a selection. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Select the Move tool. Click hold and drag to the document you are working on. Press and hold alt key then click and drag to reduce the size. Set it to the right position. Let us correct the sharp edges. Select the smudge tool and brush the edges. Right-click and select Create Clipping Mask. Reduce the opacity to 50%. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Hold Shift key and drag it to the other eye. Create a new layer on top. Right click and select Create Clipping Mask. Change the foreground color. Change the blending mood to color. Select the brush tool. Then brush over it. Select the eye copy layer, select the smudge tool, then brush the white part of the eye. Create a new layer. Change the foreground color to white. Select the brush tool, then brush the eye. Change the blending mood to color. Create another layer. Open the foreground color and change it to red.
then brush the edge part. Change the blending mood to color and reduce the opacity.
That is how to create a smudge painting in Photoshop. If you like this tutorial, kindly like, share, and if you have any question, leave it in the comment section.